Welcome back to Daytime, everyone. Autism is the fastest growing developmental disability affecting kids. It affects one in 150 children, and parents are desperate to find treatments, and there is proof that early intervention has the best results. One therapy that's been around over 30 years is Applied Behavioral Analysis Therapy, or ABA, and joining us now is therapist and ABA therapy founder Kelly Gardner, and she's brought along with her Jonica Chittum, a mom with a son, Mac, who is five years old and autistic. Welcome to all of you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, Jonica, I want to start with you. At what age did you think, okay, there's something slightly off about Mac? Yeah, he developed... Hi! Uh, hi. <laughs> he developed very typically hi. through his first year, and he was hitting all of his major milestones, hi. and actually hi. about a year old, he started regressing, and by 15 months old, he had lost all of his speech and was ignoring us and... Um, avoiding eye contact and tantruming hours daily. So uh, we we finally realized that we need to start doing something, um, that there was something wrong. They evaluated him when he was 15 months old mm -hmm. and said that he was back to a four month old level. Oh. So when he was in his second year, we basically restart started over. Kelly. Were you finding that he was uh, preoccupying himself for long periods of time? Yes. There he is right now uh, with the chest of drawers. And yes. uh, did he do that for, for a long time? Yeah, that was something I taped just to show people because because I had actually been talking to doctors and talking to even other therapists and stuff, trying to get them to tell me what they thought it was. And, and um, they'd all say, oh, he's fine. It's really no big deal. He's just a boy. They all do that. Every kid plays with doors. And he did. But it's the intensity and the repetition and how he did it, I think, was wrong. You definitely knew. Mothers uh, know. Parents yeah, know when, when there's yeah. something not right. Now, Kelly, tell me, you've been working with Mac now for a long, long time, and Jonica, and uh, what kind of therapies do you do with ABA? Um, well, <clears throat> you know, when we met him about four years ago, he didn't have any language. Um, so the only thing he actually said was, uh-oh. Um, so what we did is initially we started working with him, you know, approximately 10 to 15 hours per week, um, intensively teaching language and communication. Because as Jonica mm -hmm. said, he engaged in a lot of tantrum behavior throughout the day. Um, and, you know, most of that is just a result of, of not being able to communicate what he wants. So we focused, you know, one-on-one -on -one teaching intensively um, throughout the week, just teaching how to get his needs and wants met. Is this accessible to all parents <clears throat> out there? Because, or is it so expensive that only some can mm -hmm. partake? Uh, yeah. Um, currently, there is just a bill passed um, for the state of Florida, um, and there's a, several states that have the same bill that will allow for medical insurance companies to pay for ABA services. Prior to that bill being passed, though, unfortunately, you know, most of our clients are having to pay privately for the service, and it can be very costly just because of the number of hours needed every week. Yeah. Obviously, he's very verbal, and he has no <laughs> yes. problem communicating with people. No, you, yeah. you must be thrilled. Yeah, we're very excited. I think at first I thought he was going to be fine by the time he was two, and then I started to face reality. <clears throat> Reality that and now our biggest goal was just can we get him ready for kindergarten so he can be in a mainstream class and we just had a meeting at a school and they said that they're gonna mainstream him next year into kindergarten class wonderful so um, we're, yeah we're very excited about that but it, it is very expensive but ABA therapy has been really the one of the biggest things that made a difference with well, Mac. It is so good mm -hmm. to talk to you both about this, and I know there are a lot of parents out there who are looking for some form of hope, and now they, they have it. They're yes. seeing this. Absolutely. Obviously a very active young, <laughs> young man. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very you. much. And uh, you can go to daytimeonline.tv for more information on this subject. Dave, over to you.